Okay, gang. Um, this is Ben. We're out at the greenhouse. It's Jake, Daryl, and I, or as you know, you should say, Mr. Suter, Mr. Wrestling, and Ben. All right. Um, what we're going to do is we're setting up today to show you guys how to do tomatoes first. Uh, normally, you remember we've talked before that we would fill a tray up, and then we have a plugger that we would put in here that would make our dimples. We would dimple 72 holes in there. Then we would transplant those out, put those into two-inch trays, and put them back into another flat. We're going to skip the 72 dimple and filling the tray with soil, um, simply so we can show you how you can start these right from the get-go. Tomatoes and peppers are different. I'm going to do some tomatoes here, and then Daryl is going to show you how to do uh, peppers. And here's the big difference. If you can see, I put a, I put a line. You can see that, but it's right about here. It's a little, little less than half. So, and that's where I have my soil. And then I'm going to take a pencil. I'm just going to punch like a, an impression in that. See that? That's my new dimple. Now in that, I take one seed. And this particular variety is called uh, Health Kick. And we bought bulk, so there are 250 of them. Let me get one in my hand so you can see it. There we go. You can pan in on that. And that's the average size of a tomato seed. So we want to be as uh, careful with the packet as we can. So 250 seeds in here, kind of like that, and all packed in there. Anyhow, I'm going to take that one seed, and I'm going to drop that into that dimple that I made. Okay? You see, I just dropped it right into the middle there. And then just barely, okay, just barely cover that and just lightly touch it. You don't have to pack it down. That seed's good to go. Now, the reason we've done that, this is the cool thing about a tomato. Tomatoes have this ability, if you've, if you've ever grown your own or not, you'll notice that they're like fibers or little hairs that grow out on the side of the, of the stem or the stalk. If you put that under soil, it becomes rootstock. If you leave that above ground, it'll turn into branches and leaves. So what we're gonna do is we'll start the tomatoes here, and as they grow out, we can put more soil, so we add more soil, so that hopefully this container will be one mass of rootstock. Makes the plant much stronger, it, it, it transplants much easier because it's, it, it's a real healthy plant, and then um, we can put those right into the garden from here. So that's our plan. Each one of these trays holds 32. So we're going to do 32 of those. And we'll lightly water them. We'll come back once we have 32 of those done. We'll show you how to water that. And these we can water in the bottom of the tray. We don't have to miss them. We don't want to pour anything on the top because that will give us some compaction. We just want to get enough water in there so that it will wick up through the bottom. Because if you notice, these have plenty of holes in the bottom. And so we want the water to come up this way. Okay, and that, that doesn't compact our soil. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes with the backside. We should have this done, and then we're going to go on to tomatoes. We'll see you in a little bit.